Welcome back to another episode of the 24MX Workshop. On today's show, I'll be demonstrating how to properly install a rear brake lever. Let's do it. First job when removing the rear brake lever is to remove this spring just here. So using our long nose pliers, we're gonna unclip that one. And then from the lever also, because we are gonna reuse, reuse this spring now. So put that to one side. Next, we're gonna disassemble the pump which goes up into the mass under here. So this little clip piece here, we're gonna reuse this part, but we obviously wanna separate it from the rear brake lever up in here. So we're now gonna remove this on the back of here. We do have a split pin on the back, so we are gonna replace that because they do have a tendency to snap when we, when we remove them. So I will probably just cut this and then uh, replace this one. So we'll push this piece back through now, put that to one side. As you can see now, we've freed up the rear brake lever on the back here. So we're gonna pull that just to one side, leave that in place. And then last job is to remove the main Allen bolt to release the rear brake lever. So we do have a nut on the back. So we're gonna get a ratchet spanner, hold it on the back and take it all the way out. So there's our nut on the back. And simply push through with our finger, removing the bolt like that. And then we can simply feed that through from the front. Pretty simple job. Now, quite common on the rear brake levers on all models, you can see in here, you've got the bearing. Now they eventually wear down and then you have a lot of play in your rear brake lever. So on the new one, as you can see, it's very easy. You can just replace the bearing if you want to, but quite often people damage the rear brake levers. They bend them, they snap them. So a rear brake lever assembly comes complete. Another little tip as well. The end piece here is called the brake tip. As you can see, we've got two bolts which are removable. You can actually buy replacement tips for these that are stronger or extended pieces so they're bigger. So a lot of people that run engine covers, it steps out on the bike a little bit. So it's sometimes quite hard to reach your brake tip with the boot. So doing an extended piece gives you more room to get with your foot. So simply now we're just gonna put the new one back into place. So we're gonna reverse what we've just done. So slide that back through there, line it up with the frame. And we're going to put our old bolt back in. We're going to give it a quick clean up and use some thread lock on it to keep it nice and tight. Get rid of all the excess dirt and grit stuck on that bolt. And then we're going to use some thread lock. Most bolts, when you do get them new, they have thread lock already installed on the bolt. But because we're going to reuse, it, reuse this bolt, we're going to install some thread lock onto it. So just a fine layer. So then when we screw into the nut on the other side, that will work its way into the thread and keep it nice and tight. So slide that one back through there. Put our nuts into place on the back. And we're just going to do it up finger tight for now. And then with our socket set and spanner, we're going to tighten it up. Making sure that's nice and tight. So because it's on a bearing, although we've done it up nice and tight, obviously we've got movement here, which is what we want. So next we're going to put the clip back into place. So we're gonna line up the hole on the lever with the clip, pushing this one back through. 
And then, like I said earlier, we're gonna use a new split pin and thread it through the back of the hole. So fold it back around. So now that split pin will stop this clip from coming out. And then simply last job is to reinstate the spring. So we're gonna put the spring into place, doing the bottom bit first onto the rear brake lever. And then the top one onto the engine casing. Like that. So now that we've installed the spring, the fixing bolt, we've now got a fully working rear brake. Now, like I said, there's different tips you can buy for the rear brake levers, but this one is a standard genuine part. Pretty simple job, but when done correctly, it takes five to 10 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment and I'll see you on the next one.